Hello YouTubers, welcome to Farm Crafter Videos. Thanks for stopping by today and checking out my video. Today, today is something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about apricots. In a previous video I talked about uh, planting apricots on my home property here, on my new property. And I wasn't going to be buying trees, but they're skyrocket price. And I figured, well, we know how to grow trees. And we're going to grow from seed. Now, what people, a lot of people will tell you is you can grow a apple tree or a peach or a cherry or apricot right, right. You can get apricots right from that stone. Well, you can't. Well, you can, but they're not going to be a, anything. You basically have to um, uh, get, basically, basically what you're doing is you're growing rootstock. And then you have to bud or graft on peaches and like soft fruit uh, with the stone. Uh, stone fruit you have to uh, you have to bud so being I've experienced that kind of thing already I'm just going to keep on propagating the damn tree right so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna grow some apricots and have one tree or two trees strictly for seed and the other ones would be for growing uh, I got I'll basically grow the rootstock and then I'll because I have some resources here near me uh, I just go over there and grab a couple suckers, maybe talk to the owner, grab a few suckers in the uh, in the uh, um, August, both here in the uh, southern British Columbia, best time for budding is August. So if the uh, roots are the right caliper, I mean the stick, the main stick, the main trunk coming off the roots, if it's about the size of your pinky, maybe about the size of your pinky roughly, it's about down to three eighths of an inch for most people. And uh, then you um, bud your variety on that, right? And if you if you do it properly, you'll get a, uh, a tree off there eventually. So we did this already. I mean, sometimes you get 100% success. Sometimes you get 50% uh, or even less, depending on the skin that's on the uh, uh, on the roots on your rootstock. So, anyways, we found some interesting apricots on Amazon. So here is my very first um, screenshot here. They are called Manchurian uh, apricots. Now these apricots here can be used as um, ornamental or they can or you can use them for eating as well, maybe for commercial. And the apricots here look like to me, they could be a combination. I mean, you can probably call them whatever you want, but to me, uh, you know, they look like either a cross between maybe a Skaha, uh, maybe a, a Tomcot, a Gold Bar, in around that range of variety. But you can call them any, anything you want, really. But to me, that's what looks looks like to me, because they have that bit of a red tinge to them. And Tomcot has that um, red tinge to it. So, and it says here they, they are, they're heavy producers, while most apricots are. You have to thin them to get the size, right? So why should I pay $16 a tree when I can go spend $15 or $11 for, I know it's going to sound crazy, uh, but this is the only source I have at the moment. I'm spending uh, 11, no, almost $12 for 15 seeds. And you think it's kind of crazy, but the thing is, um, right now I want to get the seeds growing and when when apricots do start producing, I got a guy, I wrote, I wish you just right across the road here for me, who has apricots. So I can buy a couple boxes from him and then maybe, you know, throw those in pots and then let them grow and then I'll get it trees, right? But I need to get something growing now and not not in the middle of the year, right? You can do it either or, but I, prefer, I want to just do it now, get, get the ball rolling, eh? So I'm going to give you another screenshot here. And we'll talk about this variety a little bit more here. So this variety here, this Manchurian uh, apricot, grows in uh, zone three. Um, I don't know what zone you. I don't. I don't really follow the zones. Um, I, I just know that something like this would grow in my area. So 
it says here that the plant, they're, they're basically, you can use them as pollinizer, which is good. Um, <clears throat> they're extremely cold hardy, so which is good for my area. Uh, the fruit, um, it's, um, it says here, uh, produce, <clears throat> produces fruit that gets uh, about uh, three to four centimeters. Well, it's not very big, is it? <laughs> um, <clears throat> kind of small, but I think you can, um, here again, three to four centimeters. Not, it's not, I think it's kind of inaccurate. Um, so basically, three to four centimeters, I mean, you know, it's not very big, right? But that's if you if you don't thin them. If you thin the apricot, like I know, with apricots, if you thin them, then uh, you get big apricots. If you don't thin them, they're small. So it's probably what it is, right? And it says here they're golden, golden yellow in color, and they're sweet, and they're freestone, which is good. Most apricots are freestone. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but, I mean, apricots are very, very good. So I'm going to show you now the, uh, uh, the um, screenshot of what, how they look like on Amazon. So here is a screenshot of the advertisement on Amazon. You can see it is uh, 15 seeds for $11.99. Let's see, works up to 80, 80 cents per seed. Well, I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> um, but, you know, um, for starters, I think it's not a bad deal considering what the cost per tree right now. I mean, from what they look like in the picture, they look like a big apricot to me. I mean, if you know, if you, if you know how to thin them, you know, basically, uh, you know, it comes with uh, experience, right? You want to thin them, you know, 6 to 12 inches apart and you get big, big apricots, right? So, I got um, I got uh, 30 seeds coming from this this kind of variety. I have another variety I'm going to show in a minute. But it's a good starting point. If you're thinking about planting fruit trees on your property, I mean, sure you can go to your fruit stand in the uh correct time like you know in the fruit when it was at harvest then you you're probably you're now into june july right which is getting kind of late but you have this if you have the seeds on hand from the previous year let them soak in mean, paper towel and then let, let the seeds uh swell up and then you plant them or you just plant them right in the ground right away everyone has their own system right but that's how i've done them over the years right so um Anyways, I'm going to try this variety out. Um, you know, I'm basically just growing rootstock. That's all I am right now. And then we'll bud these trees over to what we're going to do. So I'm going to show you the other variety here that that's also on Amazon. Now here's another variety of apricot that's on Amazon too. Um, it's a little bit more expensive. It is five seeds for seven dollars. Wow, craziness! But um, like I said, I gotta get something on the go here, right? I really, really have to. I have no choice in the matter. So you know, um, you have to do what you have to do, right? And um, you know, the thing is, if a tree takes tree takes right and then you save one tree for stones and the other trees you grow as regular trees right and that's how you propagate fruit trees you gotta propagate them from either suckers or stones or seeds and that's how you do it uh, so with fruit tree with I mean I have uh, propagated um, uh, peaches and apricots right from, from suckers over the years right because they eventually do shoot uh, suckers around the trees. This depends on the variety. You pull it out of the ground, have some roots on them, put them in a pot or in a place in your orchard, and they grow, right? But all you, all you are, all you're basically growing is the, is the roots, right? You're growing the sucker. So, but anyways, it's a good option. And maybe, maybe some of you didn't know you can actually get seeds like this from Amazon, which is a good resource to me. I'm going to show you another picture of this same variety. Um, like I said, it's just rootstock. 
you you can grow um, apricots from your stock, but they're not gonna, they're not going to taste like nothing. Uh, you have no sugar, nothing to them. You're going to look kind of crappy because all you are growing is just uh, a wild apricot. You have no particular um, variety. So this is how the tree kind of grows, uh, similar to this picture here. Um, people who grow apricots, like I have, you know, I have about, I don't know, 15 years experience in growing apricots. And apricots kind of grow uh, similar to an apple tree, sort of, in that kind of way, open vase style. Uh, they have their own kind of, own kind of growing characteristics very very vertical branches and they kind of branch out sort of um i don't know how you would uh even well i would call this the open vase style very steep leader open vase style um i know some of the old apple trees like take for instance like uh like like m4 apple trees like m4 rootstock uh, were very very popular for growing vertical vertical branches all the time, right? It's the way they kind of grew. And apricots are a similar way. So problem with apricot, the other problem with apricots is your thorns. You have thorns on them, believe it or not. And they get you. I, they got me a few times over the years. So they're kind of thorny, sort of. And they're really hard on tractor tires, which you need a chipper. But we'll get into that, those kind of things later date. can be off topic, but apricots generally grow in a in an open vase style, steep, uh, steep uh, uh, vertical branches. So, um, long story short, is you can get the seeds of Amazon, or <clears throat> or you can get one or two trees from Amazon <coughs> sticks. I mean, I mean seeds, right? Plant them in the ground, and then when those trees produce the seeds, you take the seeds, you save them, and you can plant them in the springtime. And I, like I said, I'm, I'm going to be uh, doing this. Um, I ordered some stuff off Amazon uh, uh, this morning, early morning before I went to work. <laughs> early, early morning. And um, I ordered, uh, I had everything already saved on my uh, on my wish list and everything on Amazon and my cart and I just ordered it and it's done. So I got all my stuff I need. So we're going to grow them in pots first. I have to grow them inside because it's still kind of cold here. Go in a window and on the shelves, and we're gonna get through all that stuff when we get it. But at least you guys know that I got something going. So, you know, for those of you who know or don't know, I I basically grew up on I basically grew up on the orchard. I started farming the orchard by myself uh, since ninety six, nineteen ninety six, and uh, I retired from the orchard. Semi retired, <laughs> semi retired from the orchard last year, two thousand twenty two. Was it a good decision? Uh, probably not, but it was a life or death situation. Anyways, I'm not I'm not gonna get into that. Um, so uh, yeah, so we're gonna carry on with these things and uh, stay tuned for uh, more videos coming up on the apricots and other things we've got, got uh, coming, but some berries and other things coming up. And we're gonna be telling showing you guys how to create privacy, having an edible uh, fence having edible uh, privacy fencing and such. And also you get fresh fruit and you can make things, all sorts of fruits and jellies and, you know, canning goods and stuff like that from, from your yard. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you find this information useful to you, post something in the comments below and remember to like uh, my videos and also remember to subscribe because I have different content all the time on my channel. It's not Sometimes it pertains to orchard, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it pertains to farm equipment and such. And all these things you can use on your own properties, homesteads, hobby farm, orchard, farm, whatever you have. So thanks for watching and bye for now.